old, so last note, why not four-year-old Nathan McTaggart? Manning plays it ahead to Roman Horak. He weaves into the Chiefs' zone, puts on the brakes. At the right circle, down to Sunder. He'll move it to Manning, winds and fires, slap shot, rebound, house in front of the goal, and he could. We saw last night an early power play falls to the wayside, and now there's going to be another one coming up. A chance in front by McKinley, and what a stop by Reed. He holds it down low, Crooks. Now to Einhorn, a shot. That's blocked. McKinley in front, back door to Crooks. And in front, couldn't get it to him, gets it to Crooks, so now to Habscheid. He's going to walk to the middle. Fires a shot, tipped in front by McGee, and it goes out the back. Seconds to go in the period. Jared Cowan. He's going to skate ahead all the way into the Bruins zone. Cowan, a shot, had saved Gore. The rebound loose in front, and Spoke had couldn't get a stick. Right arrow. The Chiefs' relentless attack continues. Miller, a shot, he scores. And you could just see that one coming. And it's one nothing Spokane. Like they did last night, they came out firing last night in period two, and here they did again, just relentless on the puck, and the Bruins had a few well, small chances to get that puck out. The window of opportunity wasn't very long, but they failed to do so, and the Spokane Chiefs take a one nothing lead. Good hard low shot by the Red Verse native Kenton Miller. Miller's first of the wall now. Kewen has it. Kewen loses the handle, and now House is going to start up the wing. He's got a three on two. Here comes House. Now to Horak, a shot, and read the save, and he hangs on. Puck drop now. Manning chips to the head. Kitchton holds it in. Kitchton drags it to the middle. A shot stopped by Gore. Rebound play. They score. Dominic Uwehrs made it 2 nothing. Well, and that's sorry, go ahead, JB. That's exactly how you draw it up. You win the faceoff. You get it back to the point. You put it on the net. You get to the net. You knock in the rebound. Picture perfect goal by the Chiefs, and they take a 2 0 lead. That will be Uair's first of the series. And Spokane at the 16 40. Howen turns it over, and now it's picked up by Studek in front of the goal. What a stop by Reed off a of Hora. D to D for Cowan, into the middle of the Kitchton. Right circle to Johnson, the puck does not stop moving. Now to Johnson in front, rebound, Gore with a great sip. Now gets it ahead to Bardero. Bardero flips it into Miller, Kenton Miller blocked by Hab. Can't find it, Manning gets behind the goal to Stahl. Stahl now gets tripped up by Einhorn. Moved ahead though, Bardero in with the rush, a shot and Gore sliding across the Almost got around Van Dane, but Van Dane recovered. Moves it ahead to Kewen. And on the left wing, Steve Kewen cutting to the goal. They score. Blake Gall in front of the net. And it's 3 nothing Chase with 4.38 to go in this second period. And there again, it shows you just how quick this team can strike. They take away a Bruins threat at their own blue line. And within three seconds, it's back the other way and in the back of the net, and the Chiefs now lead 3-0 with 4.38 to go in the second. 15-22 will be the time of the goal for Blake Gall. And the Chiefs' Hamlin has it. Up on the right wing for Dominic Uair. Uair in across the line to Coper, back in front to Johnson. Oh, and a wonderful... Goes after it, battling for the puck. It is worked free now to Steve Kewen. Up on the left wing to Morantz. Two goals last year for Morantz. 20 this year, and they've scored again. Morantz to Kewen, and it's 4 nothing on the odd man rush. Pure speed and determination to get to that net. Very similar to the second goal of the night, I believe it was. Pucks and sticks to the net. 3 to go in the third. They now lead 4 nothing. 25 to go in regulation. Hamlin plays it in front of the goal. Valcourt now back to the Aviani in front to Kramer and he scores and it's going to be a power play goal for Darren Kramer. And that makes it 5 nothing. Chiefs. Well, Kramer doing what he does best, maneuvering himself in front of that Bruins net, creating some space, keeping his stick on the ice. 
And the puck has been on that kid's stick for probably less than 10 seconds in these two <laughs> games, and he's got himself three goals and one assist through the first two games. After two games, Darren Kramer would be the leading scorer in this series. I would maybe not put money no, on that. You know what? I, I knew he would be an important piece for this Chiefs team, as he has been all year, but certainly not to have three goals, one assist through the first two games. Kramer, that was a tap-in. With 10 seconds to go. And the Chiefs just wheel it back in behind the nets with three seconds to go, and that's going to do it. Kramer cruises out to center ice, has some words with Tyler Stahl. Does a bit of a flyby by the Bruins bench. And the Chiefs, JB, are going to get game number two by a score of 5 nothing. You need to make those chances you get count or, or it makes life that much more difficult. And, and the Chiefs again showed in that second and third period why they were the best team through the last 80% uh, of the season and full deserving for that 5 nothing victory. You are.